The New South Wales Coroner's Office is clogged with deaths from natural causes that may have been unnecessarily reported, causing undue distress to grieving families, delaying funerals and diverting resources from genuinely perplexing cases. More than a quarter of the coroner's annual caseload is occupied by natural causes deaths that do not require an autopsy, with forensic pathologists usually determining a cause of death by reviewing the medical records of the deceased. State Coroner Magistrate Michael Bunz is concerned doctors might be reporting these deaths instead of issuing their own certificates out of a fear of litigation, but there are knock-on effects for families and other co-will inquiries in the pipeline. More and more natural causes deaths are being referred to the coroner in Australia, Mr Bunz said. We frequently have very old people who have chronic disease, who have been treated on numerous occasions, and when they die in clinical circumstances that directly correlates with their history. Each time we get a forensic pathologist to do something they don't need to be doing, they are not doing another report. University of Sydney researchers are working with the New South Wales Coroner's Office to determine why there has been an increase in the reporting of natural causes deaths and how to reduce such cases. The project is an inaugural grant recipient of the Sydney Policy Lab, which brings together industry, policymakers and researchers to address complex challenges. Socio-legal studies senior lecturer Rebecca Scott Bray said when a death was referred to the coroner, Funerals were delayed and families were forced to deal with medical legal processes that added to their stress. It's another layer of complication in what they have to deal with at a very significant time of their life, Dr. Scott Bray said. The solution may be as simple as providing clearer guidelines to doctors, she said. Doctors are required by law to report unnatural, violent or suspicious deaths to the coroner and natural causes deaths need be referred only if a probable cause cannot be identified. Mr. Bun said recent medical scandals in which doctors and hospitals were accused of covering up adverse events, such as British serial killer Harold Shipman and Bundaberg surgeon Jayant Patel, might have made doctors overly cautious. I think there might be a misunderstanding about the level of satisfaction they need to have before they can issue a death certificate, he said. But Royal Australian College of General Practitioners President Bastian Seidel said doctors were driven more by the need for clarity than their own aversion to risk. Elderly patients often had multiple comorbidities and it was not possible to tease out which one was responsible for their ultimate demise. They also consulted several doctors, and it was difficult for a practitioner who may have seen them only once to rule on a cause of death without having their full medical history. In the past, it was one doctor they saw the GP, but now it's multiple doctors seeing the patient and that doest help, Drive Seidel said. If as doctor you don't know what the cause of death is, then under the law you need to run this past the coroner's office, whether you like it or not.